Thanks for having、right. me. How are you? I'm doing great, thank you. What about you? I'm fine. I'm fine. So, Michelle, you're an actor. You're a singer. You paint some pictures, and now you have a swimsuit brand, right? I mean, that's a real multi-artist. How can you be so creative? Where does all this creativity comes from? Well, I'm doing also my line of perfume, and I'm opening another company in a bit.、Uh, like,、uh, I don't know. I just, I, I just, you know, when you ask me this, I just think about my my past, and I didn't have anything, and now it's like that. You know, I just, I just wanna do things. I just wanna, I just love love to do what I do, everything I do, and I. Put、uh, like in the same like in each companies I have、uh, movies,、um, you know, a swimsuit or music and everything. The same power, the same energies inside. So I just love to do all of this, and it makes me feel alive. You know, I don't know what I get. Actually, it's a good question. I don't know where I get all of this energy from, but、uh, you know, in the same time, I have it because all of this makes me happy. And when you're happy. You just do everything good. You see. Okay, so now talking specifically about Dark Room, your debut album released earlier in this year. I know you already have a long history with the music, but when did the idea of releasing an album came up, and what story did you want to tell with it? I mean, the idea came out from after after the movie. They asked when they asked me to. To to make the soundtrack of the movie,、uh, I wrote four songs, and then、uh, it wasn't actually my idea because、uh, production came to me and is like, "Hey, we heard your song. Would you like to do an album?" And I'm like, "You know, why not? Let's do it." But I really didn't expect this album to be that so big, so so, so popular, and、uh, that's how I started. Who are your inspirations in music nowadays? I don't have an inspiration, you know,、uh, for my songs. I just, I'm just very instinctive, you know.、Uh, I have instinct. I mean,、uh, anything can inspire me. When I wake up, when I go to sleep, while I'm smoking a cigarette, eating, you know, anything. I'm very instinctive. Do you play any other instruments besides the guitar?、Uh, no, but I really would like to start this year to learn how to play the, we say the tromba. You see, the sax. Do you know anything about Brazilian music? Any singer that you have in your play? We had like、uh, I mean we all know the, about about the Brazilian music. One of the it's one of the most colored and happiest. It makes you feel good, you know, samba and everything. We had this very 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 famous song called that I don't know I don't know the name. So、uh, I, I don't really know artists, but. I hear it. You said that you actually wrote four songs for the film that you're now、um, internationally famous na,、uh, from the 365 days. When you were hired for the role, did you already know that you were going、um, to be on the film soundtrack, or did they discover you? No, 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 no. It wasn't a, absolutely on my contract because when I signed the contract of 365 days for the role of Massimo, there was only that. Everything happened because、uh, one night I was having dinner with the director of the movie. We were just chilling and talking. It's like, what do you like to do? It's like he told me, what do you like to do besides acting? You know, and I told them I like to sing.、Mm-hmm. Oh, really? So show me something. Do you have something recorded already? I'm like, yeah, this is Dark Room. Check it out. And he loved it. He totally fell in love with this, and he thought, you know, I want to put this song inside the movie and stuff. That's how we started, you know. But it wasn't unexpected. Totally unexpected. That's amazing. And just by these songs, I can I can tell that you're very different from your character. But is there anything that you feel similar to him? Massimo is、uh, is, is, is completely different from me. Like I just build up a character. It's his psychology. I just try to be so faithful to the script. No, I mean I mean is is Massimo is really really passionate.、Uh, About everything he does, Massimo is passionate about his work.、Uh, everything he do, he has to be perfect. Everything he he loves deeply, you know. So the only thing that might be, you know, similar to Massimo is that we 
put a lot of energy in, inside, you know, all of our goals. Now talking about another film, last year you came to Brazil to record the film Dueto. I was in 2018 actually, not last year. So sorry. So, and um, did you also record any, any music for this film? And could you please talk a little bit about your character because we don't know anything. I, they, they just talk, they recorded uh, the music in Brazil and then they gave it to me and I tried to, you know, to fix it because they just translated from Portuguese to Italian. So the grammar of the, of the song was totally, uh, not, uh, totally not good. So I just fixed it. It was Italian, it was, uh, it was the Italian the songs. And my, my character in Duetto is, I, I don't even know if it's gonna come out the movie because I didn't hear from the Brazilian production anymore. Uh, but the character is, is Marcello Bianchini, who is uh, a, you know, a singer from 1965. And uh, he does this competition uh, you know, in Italy. And this is the only thing that I can tell you. I'm sorry, I have a comment. No, that's okay. We're coming, to, <laughs> we're coming to the end of this interview, so I have to ask you, have you ever noticed any Brazilian fans on your social media? Any messages, something you saw that caught your attention? What? <laughs> of course, like I get like one, like 150,000 messages from Brazil every day. And what I can tell you is that there's not even bad message. Like, I mean, as I told you, as I told so many times, Brazilian, like there's not even one bad message from Brazil. They're so kind, they're so clean, they're so educated and polite. So uh, I really, really like and love all the Brazilian fans. Brazilian, also they made a lot of uh, Michele Morone fans, fan page on Instagram. They're so, so kind to me. They're so educated and polite. Although they're, you know, they're, they're, they're so far from me, you see, but they're so kind. They, you know, I, I love all of them. It might sound like, of course, you love them, but really, I didn't get one bad message from Brazil. It's incredible. No, that's so nice to hear it. So, is there any chance that you will ever come to do some shows here? 100% yes. Uh, with my label, we are trying to, you know, uh, to, to, you know, to build up, you know, the whole tour. And Brazil is one of, like, at the beginning of the list. I mean, I, I like, of course. And you guys have a so big country, you know, so it's gonna be fun to be there in Brazil. Yeah.